college student who doesn't know what career path to take? Have you already started your career, but maybe something feels just wrong? There's a lot of ways to gain clarity and direction, but one of the most fun ways, I think, is taking a good look at your Enneagram personality test. Friends, I'm Ashley Stahl, career coach, host of the top 100 show called The U-Turn Podcast and best-selling author of the book also called U-Turn, Get Unstuck, Discover Your Direction and Design Your Dream Career. If you're not sure what your Enneagram type is, I would definitely recommend taking the free Enneagram personality test. The link is below. Not only is it creepily accurate, but it can help explain a lot about yourself and push you in the right direction. This test is based on the Enneagram personality theory, which separates and describes personality in nine different categories. These nine types are all driven by their own set of core emotions, core fears, and core beliefs. So by evaluating the results of this personality test, you can get more clarity in your life and your career. And while I have to give the disclaimer that who you are is bigger than the limits of any personality test, it's always worth taking a look at. I see personality tests as though they're a weather forecast, one that you consider in your life as you make decisions. So without further ado, let's jump into the nine Enneagrams and what careers might be best for you. Type number one is called the reformer. Reformers are self-controlled and very disciplined. They crave accountability and responsibility in their lives. Ones are very ethical and have a strong desire to be good. They value diligence, hard work, and they tend to be incredibly rational. They crave a work environment that's really fair, that has straightforward communication. They're detailed people and they like to know exactly what's expected of them. The best types of careers for ones are where they can solve problems and focus on small details. At their best, they create order and at their worst, they're obsessively focused on control. Some great career fields for type ones are accounting, editing, auditing, military, financial planning, medical, dentistry, event planning, library, sciences, and architecture. Type number two is the helper. Twos are all about relationships and helping others out. They love making other people happy and creating meaningful connections. Twos love to feel like they're contributing and have a true gift for bringing people together. They enjoy socializing and an atmosphere that is free of negativity. Overall, twos yearn to be appreciated. Above all, they want to help others and make a difference in their jobs. At their best, they're super helpful. At their worst, they've abandoned themselves entirely, taken care of everyone, overgiven, and are now completely completely depleted. Some great career fields for type twos are in education, medicine, nonprofit work, human resources, psychotherapy, and hospitality, anything that requires giving service and bedside manner. Type number three is the achiever. If you're an energetic, busy bee, this might be your type. Career-wise, threes are the type that's likely to have some side hustles going because they're goal-oriented, go, go, go doers. Threes are driven by success, accomplishment, and their image. They're typically talented and amazing at setting goals. They wanna be respected, they wanna be valued, they wanna be admired, and they strive for jobs that allow them to completely disrupt industries, motivate others, and really use their voice. So at their best, they're achieving and they're inspiring people, but at their worst, they're hyper-focused on their image and they want to look superior to others. Some good careers for type threes are executive leadership, entrepreneurship, speaking, marketing, acting, and social media management. Type number four, the individualist. If you haven't guessed from the name, the individualist is all about freedom. Fours crave flexibility and authenticity. They're in tune with both their feelings and their surroundings. Fours strive to create enough freedom through creativity. Overall, they like to take the roads less traveled. They're artistic and sensitive, and at their best, they're highly creative and making an impact, while at their worst, they're overly focused on their feelings and a little bit lost in them. Some career paths that type fours might love are writing, art, social media management, management, design, counseling, photography, and graphic design. Self-expression is the name of their game. Type number five is the investigator. If you have an analytical mind and you love learning and sucking in as much knowledge as you can, you might be a type five, which is the investigator. Fives are alert, they're curious, they're insightful, they feel best when working alone and with as much independence as possible. Altogether, they wanna know as much as they can about life, about the world around them. They like to dig and get to the root cause of issues and information, and they prefer a flexible job without time constraints and pressing deadlines so they have time to discover, research, and explore. At their best, they find 
find details that no one else can. At their worst, they're obsessed with the details and they cannot see the forest from the trees. Some good career paths for types fives might be law enforcement, psychology, research, computer programming, national intelligence, journalism, and engineering. Type number six is the loyalist. They feel the most at home in practical and steady jobs with a sense of safety. They are loyal, grounded, committed, and responsible. They value security and they have a high level of trust. Career-wise, they wish for a good work-life balance and a workplace free from competition and time pressure. Sixes want a well-structured, organized workplace with very clear expectations. Steady benefits are a substantial motivator for them in choosing a job because they tend to be worriers. At their best, they're loyal and they're balanced in their lives. And at their worst, they're worried and very overwhelmed by expectations. Some really great career paths for type sixes might be education, accounting, law enforcement, law, business, management, and even medicine. Type number seven, a very fun type, is the enthusiast. Type sevens or the enthusiasts are the life of the party. They're so fun to be around. And although they can be a little bit scattered, they're bursting with great ideas and they bring personality to everything around them. They're not a big fan of authority and rule following and should avoid jobs with small details. They wanna think big and they wanna be creative. So sevens do really great in a fast paced, constantly changing environment. And some might call them visionaries. They're a big picture type of person. But overall, sevens just wanna be happy. At their best, they're a visionary, and at their worst, they're no work and all play. Not a bad thing unless you need to support yourself and earn a living, you know? Some good career paths for seven might be in content creation, social media influencing, public relations, marketing, television, and podcast hosting, project management, and even entrepreneurship. Type number eight, the challenger. This is another type that values autonomy and freedom. They love to be the boss, mostly because they have the ability to push through challenges with grit, and they really have what it takes to create success, wanting to do so on their own terms without anyone telling them what to do. Type eights tell it as it is, and they are great at managing difficult situations. They care about justice, and they'll usually stand up for the underdog. They've got a really powerful personality, and they rarely back down from confrontation. So, Work-wise, they crave a fast-paced, stimulating environment, and at their best, they have an incredible amount of patience and grit for their dreams, but at their worst, they're steamrolling people and they're domineering. So some good jobs for type eight might be executive leadership, executive assistant, sales director, entrepreneur, investors, politicians, project managers, head of sales, a marketing executive, or even a CEO. Type nine is the peacemaker. So the last type, type nine, commonly known as a peacemaker, they're very optimistic, they're enthusiastic. They believe that human beings have a very natural inclination for goodness, and with them, what you kind of see is what you get. They're excellent at building a positive relationship with anyone, they bring a huge sense of team spirit to the workplace, and they want their needs to be taken care of. Work and life balance is important to them. They don't like work that demands too much because they can get easily overwhelmed. So at their best, they're soothing for everyone, and at their worst, they're not allowing themselves to have a voice and be who they actually are. Some good career paths for nines might be teaching, human resources, social work, any type of art, nursing, nonprofit work, childcare, and even counseling. So now that you know the Enneagram types, I'm curious if you could guess which one you are and would love to hear your results in the comments box below. Better yet, I'm curious if you could guess which one I am. Overall, the Enneagram personality test is a representation of you, and yet you're so much bigger than just a personality test. So if you wanna start exploring your core values and beliefs, this is a great place to begin. Tell me your personality type, I'd love to know. Subscribe to this channel, pass this along if you think it'll help a friend, and I'll see you next week.